The Institute of Living was one of the earliest asylums in America. It was established in 1822 as the Connecticut Retreat for the Insane. Today it's a division of Hartford Hospital. It provides a full continuum of care to people of all ages with a variety of specialty programs. We have four research centers that scan the range from studying psychotherapies to state-of-the-art neuroscience. Our focus, though, is always to make research developments available and a, an integral part of the clinical care that we deliver. The focus of the Olin Center and what distinguishes us and puts us at the forefront of neuroscience is the fact that we're interested in the neurobiology of serious mental illnesses from the point of view of electrophysiology, and functional and structural brain measurements and genetics and combining those with epidemiology. So we have two research-dedicated high-end MRI scanners that are capable of acquiring structural and functional MRI information, diffusion tensor imaging, as well as spectroscopic information. We have a fully equipped electrophysiology lab and we have a DNA repository. At Olin, we're interested in childhood and adolescent neuropsychiatric disorders in two of our component laboratories. We were awarded a grant several years ago. What we did was create a program that not just tried to give kids access to more care, to more assessment, to find out better at the time they came to us what sort of treatment they needed, but also we would have staff who would evaluate them and track their outcome. Most of the time, research is done in one building and clinical care is often done in another building. This very unique program, which actually embeds clinical research in a very active outpatient treatment practice, is very different because it really connects the clinician to researchers to really enhance the information we're able to get about a child and really enhance the treatment plan that we can make for a child. The Burlingame Center is a clinical informatics, clinical trials, depression research center that introduced electronic decision support systems. Transcranial magnetic stimulation refers to a type of therapy that utilizes a magnet to generate an electrical current in the circuits of the brain believed to be dysfunctional in patients with depression. At the Institute of Living, our goal is to offer every available therapy. Some patients require nothing more than standard treatments, medications, etc. But others do not respond well and need therapies that are not necessarily routinely available. The Anxiety Disorders Center studies all of the anxiety disorders with a focus on treatment and, and in particular the effectiveness of cognitive behavioral therapy. Exposure therapy is one of the techniques used in the Anxiety Disorders Center that helps individuals with phobias accustom themselves or habituate themselves to the source of their fear so that they're able to get over it and get on with their lives. The really special thing about the Braceland Center is the way that it combines cutting-edge Alzheimer's disease research with a memory disorders center that actually provides real value to patients. At the Institute, we really focus on translating all of the research that we are doing directly into patient care. We embed our research organizations into our clinical programs so that the people delivering care are getting the information, they're learning about the developments as they're happening. Important features of the Institute's research program is that it is tightly integrated with the educational programs we believe that each makes the other effort better. So there's been an enormous investment from both Hartford Hospital and from Dr. Schwartz here at IOL just in fostering science. We are a learning institution. We're proud to be training the next generation of psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, psychiatric nurses, uh, really uh, specialists in all of the behavioral health areas. One of the things that we're proudest of is the staff. We have wonderful opportunities, wonderful resources, but all of it really is possible because of the quality of the infrastructure that we have, the people who work with the patients, the people who help us get the grants, the people who help us collect the data.